I want to thank you, all of you guys for watching my video. First and foremost, um, reason I'm making these videos is because I just feel like ha having something else to do. I enjoy cars. I want to share my opinion with you. And with that in mind, let's talk about the GX460 and why I chose that platform over the 4Runner. There's nothing wrong with the 4Runner. It's a beautiful machine. I love it. Uh, for off-roading, it does have better approach angles. It does have the rear locking differential. At the same time, there are features that I prefer that are on the Lexus. For example, the V8, I really like that 4.6 liter with the 300 horsepower, 329 pound-feet of torque. It feels good, smooth. The six-speed automatic transmission versus the five-speed in the 4Runner is another reason why I chose that platform. I also do like the swing outdoor. Some people aren't a fan of it. I like it. I do like the 4Runner's window that rolls down. I wish that's one feature. I wish that there was some way to integrate into the GX platform. But at the very least, we're able to open up the window uh, as well and let that, uh, you know, it's an easy access point as well. So let's talk about my GX460 in particular, what options I have, what's standard on the GX as well. Some of us may not be aware. So when you're going out there shopping for a pre-owned GX460, what are some things to look for? Well, I have the window sticker here for my GX. This is right there. And I apologize about the video quality. I am using just a, a webcam at this time. And uh, as we progress with the channel, uh, so will the equipment and the quality of videos will go up. But in particular, I just want to focus on talking. Let's talk about the GX, some of the things that mine has, what's standard on it. So I'm going to go ahead and just read off some of the standard equipment that it says here. Maybe I'll figure out a way to put it on the screen for you guys as well. But again, we're just doing this simple. Let's keep it easy. We're just talking about the GX. And uh, so standard features is the 4.6 liter V8, 32 valve dual overhead cam with a variable valve timing VVTI, 301 horsepower, 329 pound feet of torque. The full-time four wheel, all wheel drive system with Torsen limited slip differential and electronic locking feature. That's another feature I really appreciate about the GX over the 4Runner, that all wheel drive system is standard. You can get it on certain models and there were some V8 models uh, that are not easy to come by. So if you find a V8 model, you can get that V8, same V8, except you could use normal gas versus in the Lexus, you have to use premium across the board for all GX460 models. Now the 470, some of the earlier models did have pump gas. My brother uh, did own one that had the pump gas. I had one with the premium on the 470. I had a later year one that had more horsepower, but honestly, it was pretty negligible uh, when you when you really tested them side by side. And uh, at least in our case, it was. Let's go back. So we also have the kinetic dynamic suspension system, the KDSS. Uh, which if you're not familiar with, it's just a really nice way to, to have the vehicle be able to have good on-road manners and off-road manners. Off-road is almost like a disconnectable sway bar. It's dummy proof. It does it all on its own. When it senses that it needs that wheel articulation up to a certain speed, it will disconnect that sway bar and allow you to be able to flex out the vehicle more and giving you better articulation, which in turns is something that's better for off-roading and for comfort in general. Now on road, what it's gonna do is it's gonna tighten up the suspension. It's gonna feel more sport-like, not sporty. It's gonna feel more sport-like than your average SUV. So especially an older Land Cruiser such as this one, uh, or uh, even a modern Wrangler, which I have no problem with the way it handles, but there is a significant difference in the dynamics of the way a GX460 drives and the way a, a, a Wrangler or a, another vehicle that may not have the same type of uh, system as the GX in terms of suspension with the KDSS. We have the 18 inch alloy with 265-60-18 mud and snow tires. Obviously mine does not have that anymore. 18 inch alloy wheels, uh, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution EBD and brake assist, vehicle stability control, trailer sway control. This trailer sway control, all that's done automatically. There's no button for it. There is no uh, trailer uh, uh, haul mode on the GX460. The the car, the, the vehicle senses the load and it will 
automatically change whatever it needs to do to configure it to be able to uh, to have that trailer sway feature. It has 10 airbags. It has six uh, second row side airbags, two roll sensing side curtains, and the first, second, and third row, they also have two there as well, so for a total of 10. Uh, it also has Lexus Inform Safety Connect, automatic collision, notification, stolen vehicle location, emergency assist button, the SOS, and roadside assistance, Lexus Inform Connect, Lexus Inform Remote, and all this is for, they, they offer for one year trial. We've exceeded that already. I'm sure that if I really wanted to, you could probably pay and have some of these features again. You have the theft deterrent system, immobilizer, smart access with push buttons. So this is standard on this vehicle, obviously on certain models of the of the Forerunner, it did not have push button, especially the older ones. The newer ones, I believe there's a certain year where it transitions to all of them getting the push start. You have the seven passenger, seven seat with recline, sliding, 60-40 split, second row uh, seat folds flat, 50-50 split, third row seat. Some of these features are, these are standard, all right? So keep that in mind. Mine in particular may not have all of these standard features because when you have certain packages, that will be eliminated. We'll get into that in a moment. So we have the Lexus display audio system, 8.0 inch color multimedia display with backup camera, HD radio, Bluetooth hands-free, a phone and audio streaming, Sirius satellite radio for three months and uh, automatic dual climate control. Power tilt sliding moon roof with one touch open and close. Another standard feature, which some people don't want a sunroof or a moon roof, and that's fine. But I do. And and that's another thing to look for when you're going to buy a 4Runner versus a GX. Some of them have it, some of them don't. But when it comes to the GX, all of them in particular, they have these features. All of this is standard. Auto dimming electronic inside mirror home link garage door opener, which I love. I use that on a daily basis. Auto dimming electronic inside mirror home link garage door opener. I just repeated myself. You see a little tired. <laughs> Automatic LED low beam headlamp with LED daytime running light, DRLs, illuminated running boards, carpet floor mats. Again, it's not standard on all vehicles to have carpets. On the 4Runner, it's optional. On the Lexus, it's not. The LED headlights are also standard on the Lexus versus uh, the the 4Runner. You have to buy one that's more modern and again not every single 4Runner is going to have uh, LEDs. When you buy a GX especially this year the 2017 it's a standard uh, feature. Now we're going to go into the features that are uh, added on right these are manufacturers uh, suggested price we're going to go into that and these are some of the options that mine has in particular. So I have the blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert power retracting auto dimming outer mirrors and headlamp washer so this is not something that's standard so when you're looking at a gx 460 to purchase and you're like oh well all of them are going to have that folding powerful in the mirror no they don't there's a button inside you'll be able to well there's a way to test it out in the vehicle to make sure it has it in case they mistype something and say that it does have it because i've gone and and to look at another gx in the past where they didn't have it, but they advertise it as if it did have it. So you want to make sure you have the features that you want on there. And one of the ways is the headlamp washer. I believe if the, you have the head, headlamp washer, it should have the, the auto dimming or the, the power folding mirrors as well. And I also have the premium package with captain's chairs and sport design package. So what does that give me? 18 inch split six spoke alloy wheels with gray metallic, which I like. That's why I kept them on there. I did an OEM plus type of build on my particular GX with the wheels and, and, and the, the bigger tires with the lift. And we're going to add more to it. But again, we're going to do tasteful mods functional mods and we're going to try to keep it budget friendly as well so it also has the led fog lamps again something that's not standard intuitive parking assist navigation package which obviously right now it's out of date have i used it yeah i mean i put the little you could put the little breadcrumbs and, and that feature is still pretty useful in my opinion leather trimmed seats mahogany mahogany wood trim heated ventilated front seats 
heated second row, tilt slide captain chairs, third zone climate control, unique lower grille, front and rear bumper spoilers, tail lights, exhaust tips, side mirrors, mahogany wood and leather trim steering wheel and shift knob. So it also has the cargo mat, cargo net, wheel locks, and key gloves. If you notice there, it, it talked about the third, the, the climate control for the for the back seats. That is not something that is standard. So again, look at the features that you want and try to get one that suits what you are looking for. In addition to that, the sport design one has obviously the lip kit, the body's a little different. It's going to look more sporty. It has those rims with the metallic finish on it. It's gray, uh, which I like. Some people may not like it. They'll change them. That's fine, but I like it. I had a, a, someone ask me if I wanted to sell that. The lip kit, right now, I'm not trying to sell it. I do like it on there. And uh, and even when I plan to off-road, it might be something that I might it not impede the type of off-roading that I might do with this particular Lexus. So in a nutshell, when it comes to the GX, there's just a few things to look for. What do you want? I don't have the second row full seat, right? I have the captain's chairs. That's an option. And, and I'm going to tell you exactly how much those that package for mine co costs. So if you want the blind side, blind spot monitoring, you want the mirrors that fold in and so forth, that's an $800 package. It's $100 for the headlamp washer. And then for the premium cat. Uh, package with the captain's chairs that's six thousand five hundred and five dollars the wood trim steering wheel and shift knob that's three hundred and ten dollars the cargo mat and all those other things are two hundred and sixty dollars before those options it's fifty one thousand two hundred and eighty dollars back in twenty seventeen the subtotal with uh the factory options that mine has is fifty nine thousand two hundred and fifty five dollars and $975 handling fee for a total of $60,230. That's how much it cost back in 2017. Just make sure you get the options you want, guys. You wanna make sure, for sure, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. Don't get one without the climate control in the back. If you have kids, if you have friends, if you have family, they may not be wanting the same temperatures as, as up front. And that's something that when you look for a used one, they don't really change prices. I've seen some with and without it, they're gonna cost exactly the same. And likewise with the captain's chairs, it's an option that costs a lot of money. If you really want it, make sure you find one with it. It generally doesn't cost different over one that doesn't have it. Because when you're going to a used dealership, or even when you're going to Toyota or Lexus, if you find one there, they generally don't charge too much for these features. It's a pre-owned vehicle. They're trying to get X amount of dollars for a certain type in general uh, of the GX 460. So you want to make sure you get that. If you want the off-road package, the off-road package offers a, an additional transmission cooler. It has the crawl control feature, which news flash, all of them have the a track almost like a, an electronic uh, differential or locking differential, except it's not going to lock. Uh, by just, you know, with a mechanical lock, it's going to be done with uh, electronics. And this is not necessary if you're not going to off-road. You don't really need to worry about those features. Just know that there's certain features that you may or may not want. You may want air suspension. I did not want air suspension because I, I had the intention of swapping out the suspension. And for the sake of simplicity, I made sure to get one without it. If you want air suspension, Make sure you have that feature. You should be able to easily spot whether it has that type of suspension. I'll show it on a different video, more in-depth uh, look at my particular Lexus. We'll go under the hood and try to talk about those features. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoy it. Again, it's not the best video quality. I'm just sitting here, got the webcam. I'm just in, my, in, in the house. And I just want to share my particular thoughts on my GX460, some of the features that mine come with, some of them that are standard, and why I got it over the, the Forerunner. Nothing wrong with the, the Forerunner. I love it. I've owned it before. That 4.0 is rock solid. That five-speed automatic transmission is solid. I've owned a four-wheel drive version, and it was great, but I prefer the GX460. That's something that's better suited for my needs what suits your needs. And if you have any comments, just go ahead and share with me your thoughts 
what vehicle you have, whether it's a Lexus, whether it's Toyota, anything. I'm a fan. I may have this hat says Toyota on it, but I do like other manufacturers as well. I had a Gladiator, uh, Rubicon. I had a Willis Edition. We also had um, uh, Wranglers. I had a Montero as well. So there's various vehicles that I've had in the past, Dodge Ram. So it's not that I'm focused specifically only on Lexus and Toyota as the end all be all because obviously every manufacturer has the potential to have a vehicle that's desirable and it could be reliable.